hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. If you guys watched last week's vlog, then you know I went shopping a little bit and I told you guys I would either show you guys in next week's vlog or in a video of its own. And so I thought, you know, let's just do a video of its own. I didn't do a ton of shopping, but we did some shopping at JCPenney's and Sephora. And so I have a good little bag of goodies here. So let's jump right into the bag. Pretty much most of my shopping was in Sephora, but we did stop in the Arizona section of JCPenney's, which I actually really, really love Arizona brand and a ton of their stuff was on clearance or on sale. Um, I think they're doing kind of like a lot of their back to school sales and that kind of stuff, end of summer, getting ready for fall. So I picked up a few cute shirts. They're basically just t-shirts, kind of crop length, but they were really cute and they were on sale. Um, I think they were all like five, six, seven dollars, somewhere in there. So I picked up this really cute kind of mauve pink, ribbed t-shirt it's just a little short sleeve kind of cap sleeve t-shirt and it is crop length it comes down like um just below the belly button a little bit or maybe just to the belly button but it's super cute it does have the seam down the middle of the back the weird thing about their section they had a bunch of different colors in this style shirt but only this one was on um like super clearance so they were all on sale but this one was on clearance for like six bucks and the rest of them were only on sale for like 12 bucks or something like that or 10 bucks, I can't remember now. So they were all on sale, but certain select shirts were on or select items were on like super sale. So I don't really know why, but um, other than I like this color a lot and this is definitely a color I would have chosen or gravitated towards anyways, this one was on extreme sale and that's why I chose this one. I also picked up some really cute just plain tees. They give off very, very big 90s vibes. So the first one is this gray and gray t-shirt. Just a gray shirt with actually, it might be more black than gray. Um, lining around the sleeves and the collar. Super, super 90s vibes. So I got this one and I got a red one and red and white one. This one gives off like Sandlot vibes or like Coca-Cola kind of vibes. I don't know. Really liked both of these shirts. And again, these two were on more sale than the rest of the shirts in the same style. So I don't really know why, but I actually gravitated towards uh, this red one first, and then I happened to see that this one was also, this gray one, was also on a sale more than the others. So I picked up both of these, and again, they are just plain t-shirts, and they are crop length. They come to just pull the belly button about the same length as the other one, but just cute little sleeves. And I don't know, I don't have anything like this with the different colored collar, giving off the very extreme 90s vibe. And they're really stretchy, super comfortable. And like I said, I just really like Arizona brand. They're one of my favorite brands for shorts. In high school, I really love their jeans. That was all I bought for clothing. I tried to stay away from clothing because I was honestly just there for Sephora. My friend Melanie was there for jeans. She needed some jeans. So I did pick up a few things, but I was trying not to look because I had some really cute cardigans that I was looking or trying not to look at, but couldn't help it. Um, did end up picking up a few items, but everything else in this bag is all Sephora. So let's jump in. This is something I'm so excited about. Uh, I think I talked about last week, I can't remember now, that I got a sample in one of my Sephora orders more recently, actually when I ordered those foundations, and I got a little teeny tiny packet sample of this. So I love the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's the salted caramel and vanilla scent that they have. I believe it's their original. It's in the yellow packaging. Love that scent. It smells so good. It's like very, very summery. Well, I tried the sample of this one, which is one of their newer scents. And it is delicious. Both my husband and I love this. I believe the scent is plum, amber, and 
Vanilla, I believe is what it says. And this is the Sol de Janeiro Balm Dia Bright Cream. Not really sure what the brightening does. It's probably supposed to help brighten your skin. It does have vitamin C in it and stuff like that. So yeah, it's probably supposed to help brighten your skin. I know that the Bum Bum Cream is supposed to be like a firming and that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing that all of their lotions and things do a different, different stuff. So I went and instead of getting the travel size, the smaller ones, like I did of the Bum Bum Cream, I went for the Big Daddy, the giant tub, and this smells so freaking good. Like, I just want to slather this stuff all over my body. I love it. It was not cheap. This, I believe, was the most expensive thing I bought, but totally worth it. A little of this stuff goes a long way, but it's just like so soft and silky and I just, I can't get enough of this lotion. I also recently found out that they have a coconut one and I smelled that one while I was there and that one smells delicious. It was very strong coconutty, so if you don't like coconut, you won't like that one, but they all smelled so good. But yeah, this one is like my new favorite. I loved it so much that I even picked it up in the body spray. Uh, this one was a lot cheaper than the lotion. Um, and you get, what is this? This is three fluid ounces. So it's actually technically travel size approved. Although this isn't typically a travel sized bottle. Travel sized bottles are typically a lot smaller, but Technically three ounces is your maximum for travel size. So you could travel with this, but it's got a nice big pump on it. I don't know how well the spray lasts, but I really, really wanted to try it out. Use it as a perfume because this might be my new like go-to perfume body spray smell because I love it so much. And then another thing I picked up was the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. I have been looking into new setting sprays. I really needed a new one and I've heard really, really good things about this one. I'm actually wearing it today and um, actually it almost looks like a dewy setting spray and the fact that my skin does not look super matte or super dry, it just kind of melted my makeup into the skin and looks very like natural and glowy and I do really like this. It's supposed to be like 16 hour wear and really, really nice, which is what I was looking for. I was looking for something for a vacation that wasn't gonna be super drying, but was gonna be long wearing that would help my makeup last all day long. So this is what I picked up and it happened to be on sale. I think this is normally a $28 product and it was on sale for 21, I believe. So um, I have been contemplating this one, the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I have used before, and the Charlotte Tilbury one. Can't remember the name of it now, but then I saw this one was on sale and I was like, you know what? Yep, yeah, we'll try that one. I do love it cosmetic stuff, so you know, I'm like, can't go wrong, right? And then I picked up some cream products, which I told you guys I was going to go get. So I picked up a cream and bronzer from Fenty Beauty. This is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer, and I got the shade Macchiato. Um, number three, again, I'm wearing it today. It's got a really pretty rose gold packaging that says Fenty Beauty in black writing and then cream in big white writing. Uh, the only thing I've noticed about this is it's a little bit difficult to open with acrylic nails or actually hard gels, but with fake nails on a little bit harder to open, but it's got a nice big mirror, which is nice, and then a big cream product. So far, I have really, really been liking this product. I've been using it with a brush, not the Fenty brush, because I don't want to spend 30 something dollars on a brush. Um, but I did have a brush here at home that I figured would work and it has been working really, really well so far. So I've got that guy. And then I also picked up a cream blush. This is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Apricot. Debated on this one and one that was a lot more nude but I thought that this was really pretty. So this is this really blush pink or baby pink packaging with gold writing. It says Rare Beauty. And this is a lot smaller packaging than the other one, than the Fenty one anyways. And then you open it up and it's got pretty gold and a little mirror. 
And then this is what the product looks like. Nice, pretty, kind of peachy, apricot color. It looks a little bit dingy there, and that is because it's got a little bit like foundation and stuff. But it's a really pretty color, very creamy, and they've been super easy to work with. Both these products have. I've just been using it with a brush that I have had here at home. Um, so I didn't have to buy any new tools or anything, but I mean, you just saw how much I had on my finger and how easily that like blended out. And I've just been using a brush to kind of like stipple it or pat it on to the cheeks. And I think they both look really natural and really, really pretty. So far, I have not been disappointed with either one of those products. Also got this little um, Sephora Favorites kind of travel sized set or kit for $10. Um, I was debating whether I want to get this or not, but I was like, you know what, you get a decent amount of travel sized products, things that I hadn't tried before, and things that I really like for $10, so I was like, why not? So this bag, for starters, is definitely a reusable bag, um, it's Ziploc, it's this heavy duty plastic that feels waterproof, so you could stick this in your traveling stuff if you are getting ready to travel, because all these things are travel sized. And inside this, you got a travel-sized glow screen, which you all know I am obsessed with my glow screen. I wear it every day. I'm wearing it today. I will be taking it with me on vacation. And this is the perfect little size. It, it will take up very little space in my uh, makeup or my bathroom bag or whatever I plan to put it in. Very little space. It's such a cute little bottle. Like, adorable. You get... 0.34 fluid ounces. So we got that in there. And we got a whey detox shampoo. It's for all hair types. So um, I have never tried this, but I do like whey products. And I have tried some detox shampoos from other brands before. They're just really nice to get into your hair and deep clean them to get out all the buildup and products and crap that just builds up into your hair over time and throughout each day. Your stuff gets built up and they're part of life. And so these detox shampoos are really nice to get in there and just get your hair clean. It has apple cider vinegar in it. it. Says it will deeply cleanse away dirts, oils, and impurities. So yeah, I have not tried that one, but I'm definitely excited. And then I got a travel-sized Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So it's just a little tiny Brow Wiz pencil. And this one came with the shade Medium Brown, which I think will actually be just fine for my brows. I maybe could have gone a hair lighter, but... Honestly, I think it will be all right. I could just draw a little bit lighter in, little hair strokes and everything will be good. And again, this will be nice for traveling because it's such a small, compact size. You throw it in your bag and it takes up very little space. And then this was another product I was very excited for. Of course, I've seen this all over the internet, all over TikTok, all over Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Like I've seen it all over the place and I have not tried it yet, but I definitely want to because I have always, always my entire life had these bumps all over my arms. And this is the uh, First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. So this is an exfoliant. It's supposed to help get rid of those, like, kind of, we call it chicken skin. Is what I've always called it growing up. It's what my family called it. And so these little bumps all over your arm. It does say it's not for face use. And I do have a lot of, like, kind of chicken skinny bump on my face out here. But it does say it's not for facial use. It's your, your body only. But you got a nice little travel size of that. You get actually a whole ounce of this guy. So a nice, good size. Also great to throw in your bathroom bag for traveling. And then, let's see what else do we get. Not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of this brand. I don't even know. I don't even want to go there. I will butcher it. But we got a sample or travel sized perfume. Never heard of this brand. Never heard of this perfume. I did smell it already once. Don't love the smell of it, but that's okay. That's why you get you know, things like these, so you can test them out, see if you like them before you buy the products, right? See how they wear on your skin, because even sometimes you're in the store, you spritz them on the little sheet or whatever, and like, oh, that smells really good, and you buy them, you get them home, you spray them on you, and they actually smell a little bit different on your skin. With your body's chemistry, it doesn't smell the same, and you don't like it, so that's what these are great for. The last actual item we got was the Sephora Collection Clear Brow Gel. So you get just a little mini brow gel. 
Again, a perfect travel size. And I actually don't know if I have any good brow gel right now. So I definitely was in need of a good brow gel. So excited to have that in my collection. And I don't really know that I've ever tried anything from the Sephora collection in general. And then lastly, they also throw in um, some 15% off coupons for each one of those items that you can use to order from Sephora later in the future. And yeah, I got all of those things in that bag for $10. I'm like, that is a great deal. Plus you get coupons. Who doesn't want to save money later on? Um, you can go on their website. I know I saw on Sephora's website that they had that on there. So you guys can go if you're interested in getting that and see if they still have it up. I am a big person about natural deodorants. I actually use Lumi on the regular, but I saw that, I'm terrible with names guys, I'm so sorry, that Coas, I don't know how to say the brand, okay, so don't come for me, but K-O-S-A um, has their sport line, has a new deodorant called Chemistry. It's supposed to be super clean and I've watched a couple of their ads for it. So I really was just interested in trying this out. I really like my Lumi deodorant, but the thing that I like about this and Lumi is they don't use baking soda and a lot of natural aluminum free deodorants use baking soda, which has the opposite pH of skin and it can cause a lot of irritation, a lot of burning, a lot of rashes, people can have allergy to it. So um, I really just wanted to try this out and see what it was like. And I was getting low on my Lumi deodorant. So I thought, okay, you know what, let's give it a try. Also thought it was a nice, a fun packaging, a nice little tube. And then it has an actual roller ball in it versus my Lumi deodorant is like a typical deodorant tube. But I do use my Lumi on my armpits. I use it on my feet. Like Lumi has been great, but I wanted to try this out just to see what it was like. I also got one other sample. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. First of all, look how tiny this box is, okay? Like, this box is literally just a hair bigger than my nose. Like, it's so tiny. I've never tried their Magic Serum. I'm not even 100% sure what it's supposed to do, but I thought, you know what, Charlotte Tilbury, it's gotta be good, right? Look at this bottle. It's so little, like literally it's the length of my nose. From my eyebrow to the tip of my nose, it's so tiny. It's so cute. Like look at that, with its little dropper. So I'm gonna have to be trying this out. I was, like I said, I have no idea what this product's actually supposed to do, but I should have figured it's good. Charlotte Tilbury's a good brand. It's supposed to be, it's called a Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. Like, okay. I definitely want to try it. It was a free sample, so why the heck not? And I got two products left, and I'm really, really excited about these products because I'm obsessed with Laneige. So I got the regular sleeping mask in the original scent, I believe, which is Berry, which is what I have the teeny tiny one in, the like sample, travel, whatever size I got in the birthday set and fell in love with it. So I wanted to get the big size. And so I got the big one. And I guess it comes with this little spatula, which is nice. Cause I always just use my finger. I didn't know that the big ones come with, ooh, come with spatulas. Oh, it smells nice, smells good, smells. I feel like it might smell a hair different than the little one, but maybe that's cause I have lotion on my hands now. But yeah, so I got the big one with its little spatula. And the spatula is adorable. It comes in this adorable little envelope. It says Laneige on it. I'm gonna look at the spatula. Oh, it's a cute little rubbery spatula. Look, look how cute that is. That cute little rubbery spatula. If I didn't already have stuff on my lips, I would be putting this on my lips just to try out the spatula. Other thing I got that I didn't know they had until recently, but I'm pretty sure this is newer is the Laneige Lip Glow Balm. So basically they make the sleeping lip mask for the daytime now. And I also got this in Berry. I spent way too long trying to decide what scent or flavor or color or whatever you wanna call it to get in this. But I decided to just go with Berry because it just gave a slight pink. I almost went with grapefruit and then I'm like, well, I'm not a big fan of grapefruit. So then I was like, well, what about peach? Cause it's Kind of more, I feel like it would look just more nude um, on the lips than this. I think feel like this is going to give the lips a little more pink color. 
But then I was like, well, the sleeping lip mask doesn't, so let's go with it. This is what it looks like. Just a cute little pink tube. I like the little clear glossy end on it. And then it's got just like the typical uh, lip gloss applicator end on it. It's pretty clear. I'm excited to try this. I hope this is really amazing like the sleeping mask is. But yeah, I'm super excited to try to try this out. I was gonna say that this is probably what I'm most excited for and then I look down at what's in front of me and I I can't, I am like, so excited to have this stuff. I love my Sol de Janeiro and I love the smell of this stuff. I was, am super excited to have these cream products, the deodorant I'm super excited for. I'm actually really excited to try the bump eraser. Like, there are a lot of things in front of me that I'm actually super excited for. So I can't say that any one of these products that I'm more excited to have than the others. I was gonna say that was also everything that I bought, but also I did stop at Bath & Body Works and bought some candles and things, but I'm gonna save those because I always like to do a fall Bath & Body Works haul. Um, usually in like September, October, somewhere in there. I think it's gonna be in September, but I'm gonna save what I bought for that haul. So subscribe if you haven't already so you guys can keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that was everything I'm gonna show you today that I got and it was a decent amount of stuff. I spent way more at Sephora or at JCPenney's than I kinda thought I was going to, but also I knew I was gonna go a little ham because I had a decent amount of stuff I wanted to try and then of course I threw in like that sample sized um, little bag for $10 and picked out those shirts and whatever so anyways guys i hope you liked this video if you did then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye